Ida, to celebrate the 50 years of you winning the AL and AL Cy Young and AL MVP, uh, we're doing this lithograph. So tell me a little bit about this. Hey, this litho is pretty cool. It has the blue glove that I used in 71. It highlights the 71 uh, Cy, Young M Cy Young and MVP trophies. And of course, I wore number 35. I like the, the way it came out. It has the green and gold. But what I really enjoy is the fact that I used the blue glove, and that was a big deal back in the day. And uh, I've teamed up with Autograph One and the artist named John Hanley, and I'm very proud of what we've done. Talk to us uh, and your fans about the memory that you have that is just still stuck in your head. Well, first, it's quite an honor to have won both the, the Cy Young and the MVP in the American League that year. Uh, and I was 24-8. It seems like it was yesterday, but I remember pitching some pretty cool games where the fans across the country came out to see the Oakland A's and this kid named Vita Blue. Uh, I uh, would just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I was on a great team with some great players, but uh, 71 is something that I'll never forget. And I wish every athlete could experience being in the zone, as they used to refer to it as, uh, of being at the top of your game, male or female, amateur or professional, to be at the top of your game. And I got a chance to experience that. Oh, so actually, to top it off, after having won the, being the winner of the Cy Young and MVP, I was the starting pitch in the 1971 All-Star Game. And that was pretty cool. From that one game, I was told that there were 17 players that got inducted into the Hall of Fame from that 1971 All-Star Game.